Where You Go, and welcome to Stoppage Time. Today's the very first video of our channel, so I figured let's keep this simple, yeah? Let's talk about one thing, one touch or promo, which is the right card case for you and your card. So last week I went to the LAFC game, and I linked up with an old friend of mine who some of you may know, Jeremy Bobasi, plays for the San Jose Earthquakes. But um, I was like, let me gift him something. So I went on eBay and I found his rookie card from back in Portland Timber days. So I ordered that and it came in a sleeve and top loader, but I wanted to give him something nicer, better presentation. So I went to my local car store and that's where they had this guy right here, the Ultra Pro One Touch. And this is what I used to give him his card, but I did want to look into different options, which is where this video came in from. So that's when I found this Pro Mode card case. So we're gonna get into this, but before we do that, I want you guys to please, like and subscribe and also be on the lookout i got some vlogs on the way i got a gaming video on the way and if you're on instagram check us out there too i'll leave the link below so guys here we have a side-by-side -side view of both products we got the one touch here and the pro mode on the right um pro mode stating 35 point penny sleeve um fits inside of it and they are made here in the u.s if that matters to you and the one touch um does not state that but it is made in Taiwan. So for those that do care where, where your product is made, um, there's that for you. So I'm just gonna pull out both of them right here. So we have here the one touch on the left and the pull mode on the right um, without the wrapping on it. And first impression, um, the pro mode feels a bit heavier um, by the looks of it. It is thicker. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I do see the one touch has this frosting on the type on the top um and then it is flat on the top as well where you try to open your card um and we have this pro mode here that's thicker feels heavier and it has a ridge right up here so probably makes it easier to open the case you know um, another thing that i will point out is that the pro mode has a stronger magnet to it so if you see it, um, probably means keeps your cards a lot more compact in there. Um, so something to keep in mind as well. I don't know how many of you will be putting your cards through, uh, you know, storms or whatever. But I guess better safe than sorry, right? Um, I'm gonna put in this '94 Mia Hamm rookie card in a sleeve here in this Pro Mode card case. And show you guys what that looks like. Clear edges. Obviously, we have a little bit of wiggle room as expected. And then, for the one touch, I have my own Jeremy Ibobisi rookie card that I had him sign for me. And this has, obviously... No sleeve on it as it won't fit. Oop, that's backwards. And this one fits perfect. It's like a snug fit. No wiggle room whatsoever. Yeah, here's a side-by-side -side view of both of them. So guys, after looking over both of these, I think it comes down to preference, honestly. Some people may like that this has no wiggle room in comparison to this one having more uh, protection on your card. Other people may like that this is clear all around and other people may like that this has flat ridge on the top and it's frosty around the corner. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is the budget that you're trying to stay under. The one touch is, what, I bought this for like $5. For an individual one, I know a five pack can run you like 16 or 20 bucks on Amazon. And the pro mold is what a 25 pack for 35 bucks plus shipping and handling. So, something to keep in mind when trying to buy either one of these products. But all in all, I think they're both good products. They both keep your car protected very well. And the presentation is there. If you guys have any other card cases you think I should look into, let me know. Drop a comment below. I'll look into it. Maybe I'll do a video in the future.